I can't wait uh, seeing the car rolling. Uh, like all my guys, like the entire company, I can't wait uh, for us to be to be in Bahrain uh, race one because obviously winter test is always very difficult to to read into and people will be doing sandbagging and you want to concentrate on reliability and, and, and a lot of topics which are, are not necessarily one to one than delivering during the winter test. Uh, lap time, so we are extremely excited to uh, well Q1 uh, race one in Bahrain um, to show to show hopefully that we did our homework um, and that um, with the uh, new drivers and and the new rules we we can start a new era in F1, but also then for for our team and our company, um, where from the onset of the new rules we will hopefully be. Uh, a lot higher uh, or a lot closer to the um, to the um, upper part of the midfield, and demonstrate that you don't need to be in the UK or in Emilia Romagna to do quick cars. But you know, it's it's months of work. It is 12 months uh, of a lot of challenge, a lot of effort, a lot of sacrifice from all the company. Uh, we sacrificed to some extent the 2021 season because of limited resources to put everything on 2022. So I guarantee you, we all have uh, that kind of uh, um, ball in our belly, and we are we can't wait. Let's go, let's uh, let's go racing, and 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 hopefully prove ourselves that uh, the general impression we we have um, will be uh, will be confirmed on track that we we have done our homework. It's been a great challenge and a great uh, a great journey. You know, I remember uh, a bit more than a year ago now when we started uh, trying to put a plan together in terms of uh, also milestones and and uh, and how we would um, maximize the time for performance, or mainly in the wind tunnel. Uh, but nonetheless, with the resource we have, with the team we have, which is still relatively small compared to to other outfits, how we will uh, deliver a car and. I think uh, for people to understand, a part of the steering wheel, every single part is new. And that is, wow, you know, <laughs> for us, uh, the way we, we operate normally, there are always a, a non-neglectable amount of parts that we carry over from a year to the others. Most of those things uh, people outside don't see, um, but we would generally carry over a few um, bits because uh, they are not necessarily performance relevant or we simply can't afford to redo them every year. Um, so we had to redo everything. You are a bit in, you are a bit, uh, in the unknown because there is no really a reference you know, as a new rules. is uh, how do we make sure through a systematic way of working that we are not going to miss a big trend because you know, uh, if, if, if a team uh, shows up and has missed a, a, an obvious uh, solution uh, in the new rules, uh, it's game over for him. Uh, potentially is uh, half of the season, if not a complete season, for him to recover. And as all the teams are very professional and working very hard, it will take him probably more than a season to close the gap uh, with the rest of the field, because it's not like uh, the teams are going uh, on the Bahamas uh, when the season stops. We, we they, they all work very hard from the, the one being world champion to the very last. So when you start with a big deficit, whew, uh, catching up with all the limitation in F1 is, is extremely uh, complicated, not to say impossible, especially in, in the times of budget cap. So it has been a, a great a great exercise, mm. putting a plan together, uh, trying to anticipate would we have some resources, bottlenecks, if so, how can we mitigate, um, keeping an eye on the budget as well because of the budget cap. Um, and, and yeah, uh, thinking back in January, I was like, whoa, uh, if, that turns, uh, if that turns as expected, uh, then that will be a great achievement. And, and in the end, yeah, we've been we've been ticking all the boxes so far, um, and I'm I'm fairly happy. It has been an absolutely amazing uh, performance of my guys and and the entire team. Uh, there are so many things where we had unexpected technical issues and and we recovered, and it has been great to see also the um, the team effort. 
you know, that someone uh, had made a mistake or something was happening we were not expecting and then the, the most of the others around, let it be production, purchase or, or IO, depending, you name them, the other members of the team uh, reacted in a very natural manner to, to recover, to recover and, and get us back on track. And, and yes, it has been a bumpy road. Um, but if I make a step back, I am extremely proud of of of, uh, of the entire team. Um, I know about the, the the effort, the sacrifice sacrifices they brought, and uh, and it's now time to uh, to go out and and have some uh, some fun, hopefully, and some decent fights with 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 all our competitors, and hopefully a lot of people that wouldn't even look at us last year. Yeah. So, you think about uh, the model car or the poster you have of last year's car, um, a typical F1 car, um, and you try to uh, anticipate what the new cars will be like. Well, effectively, apart the steering wheel, absolutely everything is new. Bigger tires, completely new aerodynamics, um, new chassis, so much safer car, pro probably the safest Formula One cars that have ever been made, uh, built, um, more streamlined aerodynamics, simpler, very complex, also things that were not allowed in the past on, on some region you can't see, so the floors, the things that looks, uh, looks at, uh, at the road. Um, changes also on the fuel, because 10% uh, of the fuel now has to be biofuel, so also trying to make our our industry uh, a step closer to uh, sustain sustainable um, and and fantastic car you know I hear a lot of people saying but ah, they look ugly mm. they are quite nice and sweet and and people will soon forget about uh, the last generation so uh, and and <laughs> especially for kids I think they're easier to draw than, uh, than the previous generation because a lot of very complicated winglets and and, and shapes that were along the car are forbidden now, so it should be easier to, uh, to draw your favorite car uh, as a kid. Uh, it's left my crystal ball at home. Uh, I think for all the teams that are not going to be uh, world champion, not enough. <laughs> uh, it's it's, it's uh, ultimately, we expect the, um, the progression curve in terms of lap time to be uh, steeper this year than it will be uh, next year and the following years, assuming the rules uh, are remaining stable. That's normal because we had only 12 months uh, to, um, to find the optimum out of the new rules. So there is probably still some meat somewhere which we will, uh, the teams will be trying to grab during the season. So the curve will be steeper. But it will be probably similar for most of the team. So at the end of the day, it's irrelevant if, I, if we find half a second or a second during the year. What matters is finding a tenth or two tenths more than our competitors. Um, and that's where the, the effort will be. I have no doubt that in pure lap time improvement, the steps will be bigger this season. But honestly, we don't really care. Uh, what is important for us is, is trying to make slightly bigger steps than, than all our rivals, which, which we pay uh, a lot of respect and, and, and know they're also working very hard. And that is going to be the interesting one. So it might be a second uh, lap time improvement, but if everyone else finds 1.1 seconds, then, uh, then we look like idiot. So it's, uh, it can also be five tenths, provided the others are just finding four tenths, I'll be happy. So it's, 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 it's more in relation to, to the others. In pure uh, delta, I suppose, yeah, it will be more between um, yeah, seven tenths to a second improvement in average, I would expect, but, but uh, we can have that conversation in 12 months time and, and see if I was right. <laughs>